I don't. So as I'm looking at this, I'm not sure this was the best idea to do today. Why? I don't know. Just wondering. Okay, are we on YouTube, Dave? Yep. Hello, YouTube. Sorry. We are live from Mead, Colorado. We are livingonadime.com. Where do you go to find us? Livingonadime.com. YouTube, Living on a Dime. Facebook, Living on a Dime. Instagram, Living on a Dime. Although I haven't posted for several months because I can't get in on my phone anymore. So. <laughs> Wait, what? You're still using that excuse? I can't get in. I keep telling you, you need to help me get in. I can't get in. I, I need you and BJ to do that. You set it up without me. I've never even seen it. Here, look on here and let's see how much our house is worth since you just did that. Wait. Um, We're on the show right now. I know, but we can tell them how much our house is worth. Right there. Is it worth anything? It's Scroll a, down. Is it really worth that? <gasps> Holy macaroni! All right then. Man! It's only worth it if you sell it. <laughs> Where can we move to for that price? Don't forget Pinterest. Love your board, says Joanne. Yes, and Pinterest. We have actually really big Pinterest boards. All right, today we are making watermelon pickles because we are with the Homestead Network. Now, this probably wasn't the best recipe to do, but it is a homesteading recipe, and it is very delicious. And I asked her, do you think this is going to be a good show? And she said, I just want to do it because I want to do it today. <laughs> it's craving, my show. I you, can do what I are want. Are you craving the watermelon pickles? I am, but I can't eat them for two weeks, so it's not going to do me any good. Aw. Um, are we even on YouTube, Dave? I see nothing. Oh, we're on the wrong channel. <laughs> oh, we're on the wrong channel on YouTube. I just posted the link to the Homestead Network on your social channel. So we are with the Homestead Network <laughs> There everybody and is. And watermelon pickles are a good homesteading recipe. <laughs> Great grandma used to make this. Everybody used to make this. So Mike saw the fly on my towel and was about ready to swat it. <laughs> <laughs> This, this is not a real fly. That's just on my towel. Okay, so <clears throat> what do you do to get started? First, you buy your Dining on a Dime cookbook or you go to livingonadime.com. It is on page 173. Page 173. So, what you do is, excuse me, sir, you... Eat all your watermelon, but just save the rind. To make watermelon, watermelon pickles. pickles. I'm sharing the link for that right now. Okay, so now, what? The recipe yeah. is in the comments. So now, what you want to do is get all of the watermelon part off that you normally eat. You do not want the red part on there, okay? So get as much of that off as you can. And just scrape, scrape, scrape. Looking good. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Is that good? Did I just squirt you with watermelon juice? Then, <laughs> no, but you did a minute ago. We won't discuss that little issue, really. Okay, so then you're going to peel the green off. Sorry. Okay. So we're peeling the green. Take off my finger as I go. Now I find this easier to peel if I cut it into smaller hunks like half of this. So then what you're going to do is you're going to cut the little pieces. I'm just doing that just to get my hunk smaller, but since I've already peeled some, why not? Oops, that's a little too small. Okay. So give me a thumbs up if you guys have never had watermelon pickles. I'll bet there are a lot of people who I didn't, have not. I was shocked when Tara said you could make pickles out of watermelon rinds. Yes. I always, I always thought they were those disgusting things you threw away. This is an old Depression era, maybe before that, I'm sure it's before that, uh, recipe. Although this wouldn't be, this couldn't be a Depression era recipe because it uses so much sugar, so that can't be true. So never mind. Just ignore what I just said. Okay, so you're gonna <laughs> so you're gonna cut it into pieces, just like so. 
Okay. Oops. Oops. I'm sharing I put my the recipe in again, there. just so in case you missed the recipe. Didn't mean to put my peels in there. Okay. So got that portion done. Now. Oops, sorry. I didn't know you cooked then. So then what you're going to do is you're going to have a whole bucket of watermelon rind because that's what happens when you eat the whole watermelon. And then you're going to fill it with water. Okay, now I'm just doing a little bit here. Normally your bucket would be full, but I have the next step happening over here. So then you're going to sprinkle it with salt because the world cannot the world does not have enough salt. We need more salt in the world, right? I see Dolphin Man. Dolphin Man! I was wondering, I hadn't seen you in a while. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna let this sit overnight. See, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right now. As Ellie says, oh, can you do a Buster Cam, Dave? Can you turn it around so oh, they can see Buster? He's looking so yeah, cute over there with Ellie. Hold on, Dave's gonna do a buster cam. He had surgery yesterday. I'm scared of watermelon pickles. There's Buster and BJ and Ellie and Jack. Wave hi everybody. So Buster has his shirt on because he has a wound and he keeps trying to scratch it. Okay, now I will tell you this is actually one of my favorite recipes. These suckers are good. They really are. What do I do now? You call them suckers. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Okay, go ahead. They're not suckers, they're pickles. See? <laughs> what I have to put up with? Well, what am I supposed to call them? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Yesterday we did the video on how I do my groceries online and mike was like do you really want to be on youtube looking uh, like that no i was quoting you mm -hmm. <laughs> you sure you don't want to do something with your hair and reshoot this well tar said tar said oh i i really wasn't looking that great that day the hair and i said this is the kind of video that's likely to get a lot of views i said so do you want me to put you on camera or not so you're gonna let your rind sit in salt water overnight, okay? So then, you're gonna take, and you have all your watermelon here, and you're gonna drain it off, and you're gonna put fresh cold water, and then you're going to... Oh wow, you're prepared this time? <laughs> Cook them until they're tender. So let's see if they're tender yet. Ooh, hey, pretty good. Okay, so you're gonna cook them until they're tender. All right, so that's good. <clears throat> so then in your other pan, yes, ow, ah, I got something in my hand. What? You can have some now. Uh. I have something in my hand. Okay. So. Linda's asking what the background noise is. I'm not sure, but you might be hearing the bubbling. It's the boiling water for the watermelon pickles. Okay. So in this pan, we're going to combine our sugar and our vinegar and our water okay all right so we're gonna mix all that get that all stirred in a lot of people haven't heard of them before but a few people said Andrea says they're very, very yummy. They are super delish. And somebody, super. I forgot who said it, that she had some in the fridge already. <laughs> Good job. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cheesecloth, but I didn't have any cheesecloth, so I'm using a coffee filter. 
And you're gonna put in your cloves. Eh, add a few more for good measure, I like clove. I made clove soap today I'm gonna be cutting. And your allspice, which should be whole, but of course I don't have any whole, so we will just adapt and overcome. And your cinnamon sticks, which I don't have any whole either. So I'm using pieces from my potpourri. <laughs> <laughs> I used to make potpourri. This wasn't potpourri already done. Okay, and then your lemon slice. Now, your cheesecloth is usually big enough to put your lemon slice in there, but I don't think my lemon slice is big enough. So I really need to figure out some knives. I got this from Pampered Chef and I hate it. So Joni said that looked like a lot of sugar. It is a lot of sugar. These are like a sweet pickle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little twist tie and I am gonna close my er my spices in here. Yes, it is very sweet. It's like a sweet pickle and I'm putting in my lemon. Okay, so there we go. All right, so now we got that step. Next. Patricia and Melissa both say they love the apron. Thank you! <laughs> One of our viewers sent this to me, which I thought was very, very nice. Um, oh, they're all dying to know what happened to Buster. So, Buster had to have surgery yesterday. Dad, can you put in Ellie's video? Did you get the link for that? Oh, I didn't know she made a video. Go get the link. Ellie did a video showing a couple of things that we did. See, I find out when the rest of you find out. <laughs> oh, it'd be on Ellie's channel, wouldn't it? Let me just see if I can go spot her channel. Um, her channel is Ellie J. Here, I'll share, her, I'll share her channel and then I'll go back and find the video. Okay, so for just a second, we're gonna let this sugar water come to a boil. And um, with the lemons and the spices, and then we're gonna add our watermelon pickles. So we're gonna give it just a minute. I'm gonna turn this off so my pickles don't get too soft. Um, <laughs> Buster had surgery yesterday. He, um, Don't worry, he wasn't, he wasn't hurt or anything. We thought he maybe had cancer, but thankfully no. it was a fatty mass that had wrapped around one of his muscles in his arm paw pit. Wait, we thought he had... In his paw pit. I just shared the link to Ellie's mm -hmm. video. You thought he had cancer? Yes. Oh, I didn't. So, um, we took him in yesterday and she cut off the mass. And yesterday was a pretty rough day. <laughs> he could not be moved without just yelping and yelping and yelping. It was just like... It was Horrible. So good. Well, we realized when we got home, what do we do if he has to go to the bathroom? He can't stand yeah. up. Yeah. Well, um. Whoa! Donna said she's paying 14 bucks for a Belgian waffle. Tell them they need to get a. They need to get a grip. Wow. Um. And so he was in a huge amount of pain but we couldn't move him and he couldn't go up downstairs so we couldn't let him out to go to the bathroom we were like what are we gonna do so mom came to the rescue didn't i my brain was thinking and i made a stretcher for him so you'll have to go see ellie's video to see the stretcher we made for him it actually worked pretty pretty well um and the lump is not cancerous, so that's good. And his teeth were cleaned, and his nails were clipped, and he's just all ready to go. So now he can be present while the live show is happening. But he has to wear the t-shirt because he keeps trying to scratch his stitches. He's got uh, probably that long, I think. I haven't quite seen for sure. How long, Ellie? Have you seen it? Yeah, like that big. We were concerned because so. he's getting a little older now and we were a little concerned uh, about what that could be, but we're glad that it ended up being nothing serious. So, yeah. Sandra's home spun so. life said I made Tara's white gravy from her cookbook and used baking grease to make it. Ooh! 
Yay. Yum. Thank you. And Annie says, I made chicken broth for my rotisserie chicken for the first time last night because of you. I also started saving my baking grease. My, kid thinks, my kids think I'm going crazy. No, you're just going frugal. All Annie. right, so I'm draining my pickles from the water that they were boiling in. Awesome idea with the coffee filter as a cheesecloth. Okay. Yeah, because you know, you use cheesecloth. Who uses cheesecloth now? Well, okay, maybe homesteaders use cheesecloth. I don't use cheesecloth. And so... This is why it's a homestead network show. For me, to go buy cheesecloth for just one recipe is not worth it at all. Treasure Your Time is asking if you already made the pickles. She said I was scrubbing my dining room floor. No, I'm working on them right now. So, we're still trying to get this to boil. I don't know why. This is that magnetic pan that I got for that inversion, or what's it called? What's that? Induction. 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 And it doesn't boil very well. And it kills the kids' ears. So we're not using it. So... I don't know. Ooh, Kelly says my grandma makes a version of those. My family fights over them at every get together. So they pro that probably means they like them, right? Yeah, they're really, they're really good. They're like a sweet pickle. And um, Debbie's wondering if you're heating up the sugar and vinegar mix. I am. I'm heating it up to get the spices and the lemon infused. That's a technical term, infused. Yes. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> getting a lot of people asking about the accident too, and they're worried about Oh yeah, it, so. you guys want to hear about my car accident? It was a lot smaller I'll tell you at the, the end of the show. Oh. oh! See, then they have to watch at the end of the show. It's like when you watch the news. Could this one thing in your kitchen be killing your children? See? The story, tomorrow at 10. <laughs> like, there you go. Tomorrow at 10? <laughs> you made it sound like I need to know right now. So see, if they want to know if I if I lived through the car accident, they'll have to watch. See, it could be my ghost here cooking, and they just don't know it. What? Um, Angela's asking if you've ever made sweet refrigerator pickles. They're so crisp and fresh yes. and sweet, and my grandmother used to make them. And while we're waiting for this to boil, we have in here Dining on a Dime Cookbook. So we have dilled onions, which is basically a pickled onions, dilled veggies, which is basically a pickled veggies, easy pickles, garlic pickles, which are to die for, refrigerator butter, bread and butter pickles, so these are a sweet pickle, watermelon pickles. We have all those pickles in there because that's frugal to pickle if you have cucumbers. If you don't have cucumbers, then it's not frugal. But it's that's okay. Frugal to pickle, huh? Okay. This is taking forever to boil. So, yes. Buster should be better in about 10 days, she said. He's not supposed to go up and down stairs, but he's, but he's being a rebel. And he's doing it anyway. So, he's doing it anyway. So, we're like, on the okay. Second day of recovery. I mean, if he day. feels like going up and down, we're just going to let him. So uh, A lot of people, Janine, a lot of other people saying, thank God Buster's okay. Yes. Yeah, we were hoping he would be okay. We lost two cats in May, so we really didn't want to have to lose another pet at this point. Oops. Um, where do you... Huh? BJ, they're dropping like flies around you. Hmm, Jonathan says a video I thought I uploaded to YouTube is missing. I uh, don't remember ever having that happen, have we? I don't know. I haven't ever had that happen. Uh, Shirlene, where do you buy cheesecloth? You can just buy it at Walmart. Isn't it like or the sometimes the grocery store. You can get it in the cooking utensils section. Isn't that just the coffee filter? No, thing? it's different. Oh, but. Okay. Um, so you can buy it in those kinds of places. Amy says, you two were great Monday night on Two Family Homestead. That was our longest show ever. <laughs> ever. It was fun. We had a nice conversation with them and it was... And then we just got to go on and we couldn't stop. Well, it's funny because we kind of got on a roll about halfway in. At the beginning, we were all kind of a little slower and then it picked up 
crazy towards the end. Actually, you guys could probably... Um, <laughs> Linda wants you to do the watermelon crawl. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> the watermelon crawl. Hmm. I didn't even know okay. that was a thing. Are we going to talk about chopping that already? Okay, so now we're starting to boil. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. says, how do you eat those pickles? We eat them with hummus. Wow. You eat watermelon pickles with hummus? Gross. I don't that know. I be... love hummus. I've never tried it on a sweet pickle before. But I just can't imagine sweet pickles But I hummus. love it. Huh. That would... Be an interesting combination. That'd be like me eating oranges with Oh, flesh. so Tammy's wondering what she missed. She doesn't. She says, "Cut up watermelon, eat the flesh." <laughs> what did I miss? All right. I'm gonna share so, the recipe again for you, Tammy. The recipe's in Dining on a Dime. All right. So then, what you're gonna take, and you can see how much. Look how. Um, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. What What are the words I'm used trying to say? Roasted. Look how much these shrank oh, much when they cooked because when i filled this pot up it was up to here this was one full watermelon and it was up to here so now we're at a boil finally good grief oh ramona says recipe back to the south during the civil war hmm. well there you go it used they must not have used as much sugar because i can't imagine during the civil war and the depression, people making this recipe that much because it uses so much sugar. But Denise says Buster's the mascot, especially wearing the shirt now. <laughs> we need to get some living on a dime shirts. Yeah, so I didn't hear everything you said about the accident. It wasn't a real major accident. It damaged the car some, but the first time in a long time. I wasn't time. ready to talk about it yet. Oh, okay. We had to keep them in suspense. Dad, it's end of the I show. I thought you already said something. Suspense. End no, of the show you can suspense. Tell them. Well, for the first time in a number of accidents in the last few years, the car is not destroyed completely. So this is our eighth accident in two and a half years. Two of them, the teenagers, one rear-ended an SUV in the fog, and another one just had a teensy tiny... Backed little, into another car in the school parking lot. Yeah, backed into another car in the school parking lot. The other six have not been our fault. So yesterday I was driving down the highway, went to exit off the highway, and on the bridge, you can't see over the bridge suicide prevention bars, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> fencing. Hey, people are that depressed here? And, well, yeah. And so I stopped at the red light, and there was nobody there, so I pulled forward slowly looking because I knew you couldn't see, and a van had come. So I stopped to wait for the van, and the lady rear-ended me. She proceeded to blame me and said, well, you were going, and then you stopped. I'm like, no, I wasn't. I was looking, and I stopped. At a stop light. light. I don't even think she had time to stop at the stoplight. As a matter of fact, I can't imagine how she could have, because I looked in my rearview mirror before I pulled forward, and there was no one there. So I think she just went up and ran the red light because she thought I was going. And so then she proceeded to not want me to call the police. I'm like, no, I don't think so. I had no phone. I had no pen, no paper, nothing. So thankfully she pulled over. I'm glad she did because I went and looked and it's illegal here. You're supposed to have two license plates on the front and the back. She didn't have one on the front and that's illegal here. And so I looked in my rear view mirror as soon as it happened to get the plate number. There was no plate number. Thankfully she pulled over. So as we were waiting for the police, I thought, okay, in case she bolts, I have to do this license number somehow. So I found my makeup that I keep in the car to do for the show so that if I'm gone and I'm like sitting at the line at school waiting for the boys, I can put on my makeup while I'm waiting for them for the show. Ooh, and I found my lipstick and I wrote her, <laughs> I wrote her, her license plate number down on a book box that I had in the back from delivering books, and I got her. <laughs> well, Tara thought of that after the, um, so. Tara thought of that after my accident where I realized the guy was gonna run and I grabbed his license number. <laughs> so we've had six car accidents. You know, actually. All of the cars were destroyed except for this. This is the first car that wasn't destroyed, right? Yeah, this is the first car that wasn't just, no. 
I got rear-ended in the van and it didn't get destroyed. No, we got so, rear-ended in the um, dad's car. Oh yeah, so three of the cars didn't get destroyed. <laughs> three times it didn't. But now, so I'm a little hacked. So now the insurance company wants us to take pictures of the car and submit it on the phone for an appraisal. I just don't think that's right. I was going to call them. Is anybody them else doing that? Out. They should send an appraiser or you should get an estimate of the car or something. Because they can't tell anything from pictures. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know how. And unless they'll give me permission to take everything off and show the underlying damage. But I don't BJ's that pretty too. sure that it bent. BJ's a mechanic and he's pretty sure it bent the... Um, He's almost 100 frame. Sure. He's pretty sure it burnt the bent the frame. Well, I thought but, that at first, but then I realized that the bumper was broken in like four different spots underneath it. It looks like it broke the bumper and it broke the back piece that goes yeah. over the bumper and around the fender sides and some interior stuff. Uh, well, probably like a. What makes me partly think it's still the frame though <clears> is <throat> the fact that the inside got damaged too. Yeah. But. If that could have been something was thrown up against the back, but you only had two empty boxes in your purse back yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> it was just me and Buster in the car. Okay, so now you're going to pour your good stuff in here, but you want to boil it until your pickles are translucent. Now, I let this go just a little bit too long earlier, but see how this is not translucent? Yeah, hold yeah, let me but this I is translucent? Okay, so I'm going to boil it for a little bit longer until it gets totally, so you want it totally translucent. Oh, man, this smells so good. Oh, my mouth is watering. Ugh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My sweet you pickle. you for two weeks. I know. Jamie said we should have a testing in two weeks. That's translucent. So this is mostly translucent, so I need just a little bit more. So I'm going to boil it for just a little bit more. Um... sticking my spices and lemon in there because I like mine really spicy. So I'm going to stick it back in there and let it come to a boil again. There, for all those people who are hollering about me licking my fingers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to pack it into jars. So we're going to let that boil for just a little bit longer and then we're going to pack it into jars. Yeah. So anyway, we were standing there and she was like, well, my car's not damaged, so it really wasn't that bad. I was like, well, you have a Tahoe and I have a little Versa. Well, um, well, the lady was thinking since her car wasn't damaged, they should just forget all about it, even though our car was damaged. I'm like, yeah, like, I don't think so. And then she said, oh, seriously? Oh, no. No. Oh, yeah. Um, and then, um, then as we were standing there, she was kind of getting mad at me. And she's like, well, you stopped. And I'm like, I was at a stop sign. Light. Wait, or a stop light waiting for traffic. The light was not green. I wasn't going. A lot of people saying lipstick is a great idea. Some people say they've used that before. Dolphin Man asks if Buster gave the police report. <laughs> Poor Buster. He was on, on his, his way, way to surgery. To the surgery. And it was horrible. You know, a lot of people are talking about <clears throat> the app for photos. The problem that we've had is like with some of our cars, like with Emily's car, they couldn't tell that the frame was bent ex until the adjuster actually was right in front of the car. Like from the pictures I sent, they weren't assuming that was the case. On this car, most of the damage is underneath the plastic thing on, in the back. And so I'm thinking the plastic thing kind of popped back. So I'm thinking, how are they going to see that on app pictures when it's behind the plastic? Well, so, we got the app loaded, download, and then it says, sign in with your account number and name and all this. I'm like... Why does everything have to be so complicated? I would just make it a fun note. Can I get a thumbs up? It's just your username and password. <laughs> so I just, yeah, I don't know. Karen was I'm, concerned. She said they found a lump on there or schnauzer. And somebody else was saying schnauzer sometimes have lipomas, which are like probably what that was. Yeah. Was that a lipoma on him? I have no idea. She just said it was a fatty mass. Yeah, that's a lipoma is like a fatty mass. It's not harmful. See, thank you. Everyone thinks everybody is making things way more complicated than it needs to be. It's like everything you do now, it's like a 30-step process. <sighs> oh, hey, BJ. Oh, some BJ. people are asking how you're doing. Do you want you come tell them how they're doing? They don't believe me, 
And Dad is not telling the whole oh, thing right. So I don't think. Mindy wants to know what did the police say? Sorry about your. So accident. the police told me here's the exchange of information. You may go. I have more paperwork to deal with the other lady. I didn't get a ticket. Thank you. Well, no, come over here. You know when somebody I'm slides into you from behind while you're well, sitting sit still. Well, sit down. They won't see him. That's pretty open and shut. Here, sit down right here. I think I'm good. <laughs> well, you gotta tell them. Go ahead. Are they really getting Um. Okay, turn it so beat so they can see BJ's face. No, BJ, they're not seeing the bottom half of you. Just come and sit down right here and they won't see the bottom half of you. It just looks like sweats. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay, so everyone wants to know, how are you doing? So, are you feeling better? <sighs> That's a good question. <laughs> um, I got a whole lot worse, like, when I first started. And then this last week I've been feeling somewhat better, and then the last two days I felt worse again, so it's kind of just up and down. But it does seem to be going in a better direction than a worse direction. So, so he's been working out every week. Every day. I mean, every day. Every week. For three weeks now. For three weeks. And I lost 20 pounds. <laughs> he lost 20 pounds doing that. <laughs> he and I were doing the same workout, and I'm probably eating less than him. And he lost 20 pounds. And I lost He's eating six ice pounds. cream. Well, and I'm, I'm really eating eaten rice sugar at all, so. It's all you're, you haven't eaten any sugar? Well, I've eaten, I don't know, like those burritos, which, P.S., I need to make some more. <laughs> Um, breakfast burritos is what it, he's been eating breakfast burritos and ice cream a ton no i haven't been eating well you were eating cream. a lot last week i ate one bowl of ice cream since we've gotten back from mayo oh, yes. um, i saw the ice cream cones and, oh yeah the, the mm -hmm. cones. that's like but still one. ice cream cones don't count as ice cream no. i've been eating a lot <laughs> of eggs though so just it's okay dave so, but he says he's eating a lot less sugar, and I think that's probably helping yeah. him a lot. So, bless I your heart, BJ. Tammy says. Thanks. So he's built. He's trying to build up his his endurance by working out so more. But he's not really sleeping any better yet. So, <laughs> Pam, did you say something about being a suspect? Because Paige in Wichita said he's a suspect. LOL. It's okay, um, BJ, we love you. Paige oh. was just commenting on you being a suspect, probably because we were questioning you. <laughs> oh, yeah, poor guy. No, because I didn't want to be on camera. <laughs> That's what that was about. Uh, yeah, Kirsten, I, uh, Kirsten says maybe I'm not eating enough. Well, yeah, I, I am, but I, I, I've kind of been taking some days and eating a little more, but never... <laughs> never as high as my maintain and usually a thousand calories less which has worked great for me in the past so oh man i am so sorry cheryl is in kenosha county wisconsin and they are having floods what maybe we floods? can get cheap houses oh no <laughs> yes joanne is right i'm so sorry you're having floods we had floods four years ago and it was bad oh and they were i totally feel really, for you really, really, really i do yeah. it's it's bad i get it oh shirley's wondering about the pickles yeah I was just getting ready to get them. Yeah, Joanne, I think it is age-related. <laughs> I think that's the slower part. So mom was reading a book today, and the kids who were 18 down to 5 were helping their elderly parents. <laughs> Five-year-olds were helping their elderly parents? <laughs> and I thought, oh! Mom said, so that means you guys are elderly now. I'm like, thanks, Mom. Yes, well, you, guys, you guys are very... Dave's a senior. Dave keeps telling me I should get the senior discount and I should go to the senior lunch at the church and stuff. That's <laughs> like, senior. dude, I have a long way to go before I qualify for that. All right, so now not very long. Farmer I'm gonna hello, far, okay, Farmer Mima. Have you ever made watermelon pickles? That's what I want to know. Okay, so then you put them in your canning jar. Okay, all that yummy goodness. Ooh, man, my mouth is salivating. Oh, Sandra Somespun Life says she had to send in pictures, but they still came out themselves. 
Well, they told me that we have to send in pictures, so I will let you yell at them because I am tired of dealing with insurance companies. What? Hey, well, I yelled at them the other day about, I yelled at them yesterday and they, they yes. stood right in line. <laughs> yes. Okay. So then, um, you get them in your, in your jar and then make sure you have enough of that yummy goodness right there as Brad from Big Family Homestead likes to say. Put that in there, okay? So now here's the next one. And then you just put a lid on it and put it in the refrigerator for two weeks. No canning necessary. If you like to can, feel free to. Wait. I do not personally like to can. Is it good for two weeks or can you just eat No, it you eat it in two weeks because all the flavors meld together. Yeah, and sorry guys, flies are fighting in the shower. Um, Whoa, Amy says Kenosha County got five inches of rain in a short time this morning ooh. in Wisconsin. I am so sorry, guys. Oh, man. I remember <laughs> how stopping, loud man. our floods were what? What did he say? He said, remember, Mike, the camera adds 60 pounds on the picture. Oh, there you go. See, we knew it was that old. All right. See, Dolphin Man's got... Oh, should I add the lemon label? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, then when you my. eat the pickles, you'll know what the barcode is. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> what? So can you guys see what I'm talking about? I didn't show you. This is oh, what translucent people. is. See the translucency? You can see it through, you can see see it, through it? it just slightly. Okay. All right. And B then... Yeah, Rosalind says Paris for BJ oh. and Buster and the insurance, to be fair. Yes. I was hoping it's quick. Oh... Oh, we just, we dealt with MetLife and Progressive for the last two, and they are horrid, and I will never use them. I will never use them. You never use Progressive or MetLife. I'm telling you all right now, if you, you're using them and you haven't had an accident, change before you do. Because it is horrible. Okay. Progressive so, took like a year to dissolve it. Yeah, Progressive was a nightmare. They are not saving you any money. The only reason why they're saving you money is because they're trying to rip you off. All right. They're saving so, themselves money. Yeah, they want to save themselves money. Okay, so then just put your lids on and put this in the refrigerator for two weeks. And there you go. Okay, so I have some soap that I will cut while I answer questions. Mike? Hmm? Oh, oh, you're asking me for questions. <laughs> um. All right, Dave. Can you hand Connie, me the green soap? Connie asked if the frame is broken, it's total, right? If the frame is bent, it, it pushes the cost up greatly. But in, I don't think this would be total. And honestly, I don't think the frame is really probably bent. It just looks like... It, BJ and I were both guessing about $1,000 worth of damage, which is a lot less than the other cars were, thankfully. So, who knows wants you to slap the table, please. Get it together, people, and pay your insurance claims. That's why we pay you... $2,000 every six months. Hey, uh, <sighs> they asked, uh, or they were talking about t-shirts with your, with you on there and get it together, people. <laughs> Quote. I think I should. Yeah. I think I should. Okay, so this is my tea tree oil soap that I made today. Tea. Oops, ow. Um, Guys, okay, Dave. Sorry. Just, we have, we left the door open today and the flies decided to come in it was yeah sorry okay so this is still pretty soft but what? michael put the link on the etsy store you guys can buy these now but the right picture is not fly, fly, fly. on there uh, etsy store right the hmm. right picture is not on i will get the right picture on tonight or tomorrow probably tomorrow okay Oops, so I dave think, can they see the easy shop not i guess that really because the flies in the way the fly will not hurt you. All right. Okay, so, I just cutting shared, tea tree. I just shared the link to the Etsy store just now. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so do we have any questions while I'm... Well, Dolphin Man has to hold up the book. Oh, here <laughs> is Dining on a Dime cookbook. Yep. Right there, guys. Dining on a Dime. And I forgot who was asking, but somebody was asking if we have any, still have any. Yes, we do. I found some that were buried, and I did not know they were buried. So I put embeds in this, and it looks like it did not work. They all fell to the bottom. Well, that's just a very interesting situation here. So, my tea tree did not turn out like I had hoped. It smells really good. 
Ooh, it does smell really good. Really good tea tree. This is melt and pour soap. So Dad's probably gonna have this one. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, Baker Mom is asking if we're working on another cookbook. Yes, we are. We're working on okay, another one. Can I hand me the other one, Dave? A similar kind of, say, Dining on a Dime. Either of them? Yes, we are trying to write another Dining on a Dime. And... <laughs> Julie um, says, get the cookbook, people, slams the counter. <laughs> get the cookbook. It is save you tons of money. <laughs> um, this one's lavender. Whoa. We'll see what this looks like. Um, um, I cannot keep lavender soap in, well, I can't keep any of these in stock. All of these fragrances that I did today. They go as fast as I make them. This one is lavender. Let's see what lavender looks like. And yeah, smells like. So tomorrow, Sue is coming to visit us. We're so excited! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, tomorrow? that turned out good. And That's tomorrow. Virtually everyone will be here. Yep. Emily lost her job yesterday. So. The store closed is closing. Your store went out of business. Went out going, of, out of going business. out of business. It's a health food store, and a Sprouts opened up a mile down the road and pretty much killed their business. Um, okay, Dave, bring me the next one. So this what? one's lavender. I'm pretty proud of how this one turned out. I didn't know if it would turn Ooh, out or it not. It looks really nice. Doesn't that look pretty? Actually, I just had an idea. What? If we had a house fan and the flies were bothering us in the kitchen, then couldn't we just open it up and then just... Yep. <laughs> this one is orange and clove. So Cindy said, I thought this show was about pickles. We made watermelon pickles, but we always do the recipe at the beginning. And then we chat with our friends and then I do soap cutting or whatever I feel like because it's my show and I'll do what I want. <laughs> so Cindy, I'm sharing the link right now. For the recipe and uh, you can if you'd like you can watch the recipe again after it's yes. over or if you go um, to YouTube you can watch it right now <laughs> here's the watermelon pickles right there chat lover says I cooked the pumpkin bread from dining today it came out great page 100 yay pumpkin bread okay yes. orange and clove that did not quite swirl as I was hoping wait what oh, oh I thought not but it before. smells really good here you'll love this one mm, yeah did you say you can't eat these? The watermelon pickles? Yeah. No, I can no, eat them. No, somebody else. Okay. Oh. Never mind. Okay, how many Joanne next one says, Dave? I've got to try those pickles. There's no more. Where's the other one? Oh, there's the other one. So I was hoping for more of a swirl on this, but it didn't work out. Hmm. Everyone says it's hot and humid in most of their places. Ooh. Oh, 103 degrees in St. Louis. Yeah, Mom, it was like 110 in Wichita today. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Oh. Last one. <laughs> Denise says, well, look who's running MetLife, a dog named Snoopy. That's true. Actually, That's MetLife, true. wasn't MetLife the one where we had to, we had to get our agency yeah. to, go, to go smack them? I was about ready to take MetLife and Progressive both to court. And even then, it really makes me mad. I still did not get paid everything I was owed from MetLife because we had to haul Emily to school for six weeks before we could get her another car because they were dinking around and they did not they refused to pay me they only paid me 30 days Amanda's really wondering made me mad how many bars will you get from these cloves of soap? and this one is spearmint eucalyptus <gasps> oh uh, well this one's yours now spearmint eucalyptus in the watermelon pickles don't worry who's it yours well i'm sure see Jane what you're gonna smell like Oh man, oh man, let me smell that again. It smells good, doesn't it? <sighs> That's delish. Doesn't that does it smell good? good. Yeah. It smells like bubblegum. I will get a 15 to 16 bars depending on how well I cut this. James is asking where did you get the molds for the pour soap? Do you have right recipes there. online? Yes. Mike, can you go to this one is melt and pour, but um go to but if you want lye soap. You can get it. What do you want me to share? On our website, the Lysoap. Uh, oh, how to make Lysoap. Okay. 
And the molds, unfortunately, we had a, a kid that we know from church do it, but I don't think he's... He's not, no, he's not doing it. So, yes. What's the title of this? How to make soap for beginners? Yeah. Or is it homemade no. olive oil soap? Yeah, that one. Okay, so I just have to try... Mm. <laughs> oh man, those are gonna be so good. You do need to wait the two weeks, but man, mm. yum. All right, I'm about to share the soap recipe. And if you have leftover um, liquid like I did, you can just make more pickles and just throw them in there. Okay, I just shared the soap so. recipe. Oh, and I guess if, um, if you've never made soap and you want to make some, we also have an e-course about making soap that has tar making all kinds yes, of different... Yes, I have an e-course that shows you how to make soap. Really super simple. Jackie says you just made a new scent. I did. Watermelon <laughs> Spearmint Eucalyptus. <laughs> Turid says, love that soap, Tara. You know, we need to go to Norway sometime. turin has been with us a long time. I know. <laughs> uh, Je uh, Jeannie says, you've been super busy making all that soap. Well, I was supposed to make it yesterday, and I was really mad when I got in the car accident because I have, yesterday I had a horrid headache. I couldn't even function. I just sat all day long. And today I'm doing better. I'm trying to decide if I should go in to the chiropractor or not. Um, so I'm trying to decide if I should go in the chiropractor. I guess I probably should. I need to just go in. But this will be my fourth car accident I've had to be treated for in two and a half years. I'm really mad. But with my fibromyalgia, it really really messes with my muscles even though i was probably only going like three or four miles an hour I, w I mean i wasn't even really moving you were stopped well yeah i was stopped yeah what? i was stopped but i mean i guess what i'm she saying is the lady behind me wasn't oh she wasn't going that fast when she hit you yeah okay. uh holly's asking how to get the cookbook holly i'm sharing the link right now L uh, goodbye have fun at parkour to our store. living on a dime dot com click store and so, but I, I do know that I jerked back and forth and the next thing I was like, seriously, someone hit me again? The thing is, is like Jamie said, well, I've lived here 40 years and I've never had an accident. Heidi, I've lived here 10 years and I've never Although had an Jamie accident. Although Jamie didn't live in, Mary, in this area. She was living in other parts. Well, of she was in Aurora. That's just as bad, I well, would think. Well, yeah. Or Arvada. But all of our friends are like, how in the world... Dolphin Man wants to know if you will send soap to other people if they pay for it as a gift. Yeah, just put in there who you want to go to on the notes. And then I can send it to him. Yeah, that's a great idea, Dolphin Man. Thank you. I need to send you a bar of soap, Dolphin Man. Send me your address and I'll send you one. What kind you want. Um, and... Yeah. Um, who knows is asking where you bought the, the long things that you put the, oh, wait, where did you buy those long things you pour the soaps in? I wonder if she means the plastic part. The plastic part, I got those one, the silicone molds I got from Brambleberry. And then so. The wood part, we had a son of a friend do it, but Char tried to persuade him to do it for other people, but he didn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's you know. fine. So. So. Oops. Um. We had more questions. Okay, Mike's finding the questions. Just a Wait, second. Here's some from earlier, Melanie wanted to know if you got the shirt back from LL Bean. Not yet. It just met. It just went through UPS yesterday. UPS didn't come to my house for like a week. Can you believe UPS didn't come to my house for a week? Yes. And not, we didn't so, call them and set up an appointment. No. We just wait for them to come drop something off because they're always here. Yeah. Okay. So there was another Ooh, one. Jeannie says 97 degrees in North Carolina today. Isn't that oh. pretty unusual? Isn't it, Jeannie? I thought it was almost never that. Go back to our questions. Heidi, so are you moving to Minnesota? <laughs> I don't know what we're doing for moving. We put up a for sale sign in our yard yesterday. Yeah, I put... <laughs> so after the accident, before Mike had got home, I had a for sale by owner sign in the garage. So I put it up in the front yard for when Mike got home. <laughs> he was like, had no like, reaction. I totally I walked right past it because I, I, I thought, oh, the car is here. Let me see how bad the damage was. I was like, I want to live somewhere where people know how to drive. Hmm. Time to go to Ireland. Sorry. 
Yeah, apparently. Well, we were impressed when we were in Ireland and the UK because we we didn't see any car accidents. And here, well, if we don't see one four or five times a week somewhere in our traveling, then it's really a big surprise. Yeah. Um, John wants to know, did my sister-in-law get all the state magnets? I'm pretty sure she did. Someone said Rhode Island was missing. But oh, I she, think I remember we got opening, that. She yeah. opened Rhode Island. I think we got Rhode Island. I wasn't Island. sure if anyone sent one from Nor uh, North Dakota. Yeah, we got North Dakota. We? Yeah, wow. we had North Dakota. That's awesome that somebody said so North Dakota. I th I'm pretty sure we had every single one. BJ, why don't you go ahead and turn on the AC? Um, yeah. It's 87 degrees in the air. <laughs> uh, Baker, Baker Mom, are you writing a new cookbook? Yes, we're working on it. Mike's got to get proofreading. Maybe I should send it to a couple other people to proofread first, and then you don't have so much to do. It's the same either way. I still have to look at it really carefully. Um, Cat Lover says, I cooked the pumpkin bread today on page 100, I think, and it came out awesome. Oh, I already said that. Oh, you did already? Oh, sorry. Yeah. So somebody wants to know, come here, Dave. Somebody wants to know, what do you eat all day for the bottomless pit that you are? <laughs> tell him. He can tell you in one word. What do you eat all day? He popcorn, eats two things. Popcorn and nachos. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Dave lives on popcorn and nachos. I can eat up to three to four bags a day of popcorn. But to eat it, to his credit, the nachos, he's cut back a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't done that. nachos for like a month now because she ran out of chips. Thanks. That's because I only buy a bag a week. Yeah, Denise says, I can't believe how much Dave has grown. You know, he he was, I, I think when we started doing the show, he probably wasn't even yeah. up to my chin. And now he's almost as tall as me. Yeah, so, I think he's probably... Okay, come here, Dave. Let's measure you and Dad. And Denise uh, saw the Walmart video last night. Okay. Glad we finally Stand got up, that Dad. on. Turn around. I don't even think the camera... We asked permission. Are you there yet? Hmm? I don't even turn think... Turn around. Turn around. Oh, turn what? Around. I don't even think the camera's still... Oh, there. like a half an inch, maybe. Yeah, we're stuck at half an inch. It's or an still inch. Maybe. He's not growing anymore. He's uh, getting afraid. He's 14 and he doesn't outpace his dad yet. Almost. Oh, uh, we okay. left off their heads on the camera. Oops. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Oh, so people couldn't see us. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, oh, we already, you already answered that one. Uh, let's see. Um, Angela was asking if your soap lasts longer than regular soap. <laughs> Depends how you use it. <laughs> so if you let it dry out in between uses, yes, it does. I mean, just as long or longer. Um, the trick to any soap it's not letting it sit where shower water runs on it all the time. The trick is to use it and put it in the corner where the shower water won't run on it. That's our life that I proofread for you. Um, we have a question about how much is the soap. Oh, so these bars are six fifty each without the watermelon additive. Smells good. Does the watermelon cost extra? The watermelon costs extra. <laughs> now I'm kidding. Uh, and I do have a soap channel on YouTube. Can you put my soap channel link? Oh, yeah. Uh, Michael put my soap channel link. And you were planning, Tara was planning to make this soap live that she made yesterday or today, but she but wasn't got able to because of that. By a car. After having, after getting hit, I, she just had a headache yeah. and <sighs> wasn't feeling like doing it then. So. Even though, I, you know, it drives me crazy because at the accident, I'm thinking, okay, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. But then later, it always hits me. So I've learned to not click the no, I've been hurt. I just automatically put yes now because then if I am hurt, it takes care of it. But if I'm not, then... You can always say no. I can always say no. Shannon says, oh, no, Tara, you're in car accident. Are you okay? I just logged in. Yes. Dolphin man. I was in the Navy. We don't use soap. Oh, I knew I smelled something all the way over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Joanne was asking, do you wait two weeks to eat the yes. pickles? So put them in the refrigerator for two weeks and don't eat them for two, two weeks. Believe me. And if you want to see what the difference is, take a bite now and then take a bite after they've sat for two weeks. And it is totally different. So, oh, Becky loved the Walmart video. Yay. Thank you. I thought you guys might like to see how I order. See, I order my groceries online. And with fibromyalgia, I almost had to take an anxiety medicine after leaving Walmart. I hate Walmart. And... She likes to shop Walmart stuff. She just doesn't like to actually be in the store. 
Uh, All around. Oh, well then why are you ordering it from there? Well, because they're the only place that'll deliver. I think King Supers will deliver. Well, they're too expensive. <laughs> so, they're the only place that'll deliver <laughs> cheap. But, um... Yeah, so... Um, I don't know. Well, I just... Walmart is very stressful for me. But, well, the delivery has worked out well for us. We should make another order mm -hmm. just so we can tell the guy the show is on now. We yeah. asked the guy, is it okay if you're in the video? And uh, He was all excited because they had shot a commercial with him for Walmart and they never used it. So I hope he gets to see it. I hope he remembers well, to we'll look. we'll just have to order something and then... Uh, Ramona says never check no. Yeah, we've learned that. Yeah. In fact, there was one one of the people that... One of our accidents that we count in that list, a guy slid into us from behind because he was going too fast, I think. Um, and there was really, there was a light that was broken and it, there didn't seem to be any damage, but we were so paranoid after the other ones about medical things popping up later that we said, oh, sorry, we're gonna still have to call the police. And, and of course you're supposed to do that anyway. Cindy, but... I have this lavender soap. You can buy it now and it will ship now. This one is uh, Melt and Force soap. And I have this lavender one. Susan says I bought a metal. smells really good. Oh, sorry. Susan said I bought a metal wire soap tray with suction cups for the shower that I keep the soap out of the mm -hmm. stream of water and it dries between uses. Yes. We used to have something like that in, by the sink, didn't we also? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Denise says one more week and Dave's going to pass me up. I think so. Angie mm -hmm. loves the apron and she's from Washington State. Thank you. I got this from one of our viewers made this and I love gnomes. Am I going to get any birth? Oh, by the way, my birthday's coming up in two weeks. And I found something in our closet that I think has been there for like a year uh, and a half. You found it before and I was supposed to give it to you for Mother's Day. I found it around Christmas. That's me squirreling away all the gifts. And then I it. found it for Mother's Day. It had a cute little hat on it. Well, you have if, a number of people saying they proofread. If, if anybody wants to give me a present for my birthday. Just one of those? One no, I mean you! That, no, I mean the present that I already yes. got you that's been yes. <laughs> moving around. But you didn't see it, right? Because it was in a... Yes. It's, it's in a... So we need to make the decision if I'm going to go visit Penny or not. Penny, our viewer, faithful, faithful viewer, she came out to see From us. Michigan. And she's in Michigan, and she wants me to come out and visit her. She has frequent flyer miles that she can get me a ticket. And she wants to go in October to go for to look at the trees changing I've never seen it so the question is do I go or do I not go oh Lana asked what Walmart I don't know video um, I'll need to find that one we published a video yesterday about how we buy our groceries online from Walmart yeah. so I will go ahead and post that in just a moment um, I'm getting it together while we say let's see Susan was asking how tall am I I am 5'10 so Dave is 5'9 right now Yep. So, so if you rob a grocery store, they'll know. The whole world will know how tall you are. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I forgot who asked about the... Oh, Lana. I am sharing that link right now for the grocery delivery Somebody Walmart Somebody said video. we made them cry. No, I think they were talking to Tessie. Oh. Oh, good. I would feel bad if I made somebody cry. Uh, what happened to Tessie? Well, then stop slamming the counter. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, well, some people say they, they don't like Walmart either, but um, I, I don't like walking into the store because there's so much stuff that it's short-circuiting, but I usually go in real yeah. quick with just one or two things. But ordering online, it's been nice having them deliver it to our house. So Yeah, I think we are a accident magnet every single time. Well, okay, 90% of the time, every one of us goes out to drive, we have a near miss. And I mean a close near miss, not like a, oh, that car's turning over there and it almost got me. No, that car came two inches from taking me out close. Yeah. <sighs> ah! Well, and the thing is, we've lived in a lot of places, and there, in those places, people would say, and we've said it too, oh, yeah, I can't believe people drive crazy, because in, like in Wichita... When the lights are turning red and cars are stopped, other cars are speeding up when they're a quarter of a mile away from the light. But this is, it was totally different here where people, there are so many lights in our area and I'm thinking if the police want to make a lot of money, 
there's so many stoplights they where just run them. five or six cars will run the light. Yeah. Or in Firestone, Colorado, there they have this um, these semis are carrying gravel and rocks to a construction site, and the light will change. My light will be green, and then five or six seconds later, this semi will come through at double the speed limit, carrying all those rocks and stuff at a school zone. <laughs> well. It's not in the school zone, but it's just right around the corner and the, the kids go to school there. And I just think, this is a recipe for disaster. So. Oh, somebody said they had the same birthday as me. <gasps> Yay. Uh, oh, Dolphin Man says, Brad on Big Family Homestead talks about your channel so nice. Awesome. We love <gasps> Yay! Brad. Yay. Thanks, Brad. I didn't, I, how did I miss that one? I don't know how I missed that one. Um. Oh, who knows, says Walmart doesn't deliver there, but they you can order in. They have a special pickup area. They will do the pickup area here. Yeah. And I think the delivery, uh, they they started it just here, and now they've expanded it to some other yeah. places. So let's see. Do we have any other questions? Oh, man. It's quite warm Sorry. today here. Actually, it's been really cool. It's just because we have these lights on. It's been 76 in the house all day long. He never believes me. He never believes me. That's See that look? That's, that's the uh-huh, yeah, right look. He never believes that's the, before me. Before the show, I thought, it's kind of hot, and I went and looked, and the thermostat said 85. No, it did not. Yes, it did. No, it, it did yes, not. It did. Yes, it did. It did. Mom, it did. And I thought, these lights are going to make it even hotter. <laughs> Paige says, that's Wichita for you. Actually, Wichita was... It, the only thing we really didn't like about Wichita was the weather in the summer. Yeah, the we like Wichita. We winter. just didn't like the weather. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. So, let's see. Anything else here? So, did anybody say if I should go to Michigan or not? Becky says we're getting close to 50000 Yes. Yeah, and as soon as we do, we are giving away an apron Mom made. <gasps> so, subscribe and like and share, guys, because we're giving an apron away to our subscriber. And if the first subscriber doesn't get it, then we're going to keep giving it away until someone claims it. Because half of our giveaways, people don't even claim. So... I don't know if anybody's, I haven't seen any responses about Michigan and Pennsylvania, but who knows, as I'm originally from Massachusetts and the fall can be very pretty. I, I told her she should go. Well, to be honest, I'd like to go, but well, but if it's a girl's time, But I feel can bad go. going without the family, since okay. we don't ever hardly go anywhere. Well, I would go without the family. <laughs> well, maybe we should just leave Well, the by kids. then, how much of the family is still going to be here? Well, Dave and Jack will still be here. Maybe we should... No, Tammy, yes, go. Sandy, yes, go. Uh, Lisa, go see the leaves. Life is short. Enjoy it. Hmm. I'm afraid I'm going to go and buy a house while I'm out there. <laughs> well, that's all right with me. Uh, Cindy asked if, if do we buy soap on Etsy. Yes, let me... I'll share the Etsy link directly. So you. it's in the comments now. So you should be able to just click it. Go to yes, Michigan. Yes, go see the trees. Yes, go see it. I told you. Well, I just didn't Go, know. Tara. Go. Okay, so I should go? So then would you vlog it, or would Dave and I show everybody how to make macaroni and cheese? <laughs> uh, I don't know. What would I vlog? Just standing with the leaves. Just stand there and just talk with No, Penny. you don't have to vlog. Well, you could. Um, yeah, so... Hey. Yeah, hey, lots of people. So go to Michigan, all caps. <laughs> <laughs> I should go. Maybe that should be a birthday present to me. Moms need getaway time. Yeah, you have had your getaway time. Amen. Since last year. So, so. Do dads too, actually. Phyllis wants to know what's for dinner. Uh, roast. I have roast and watermelon. <laughs> Guess Yum. why I have watermelon. Yum. Uh, oh, Ludmilla why? wants to know how fast does Walmart deliver? Uh, the next day. The next day. Somebody wants to know why we move so much. Because we're not a tree and we can. Well, we haven't moved for six years now. But... This is the longest we've ever stayed anywhere. But let's see. The first time we moved, we need to get going, I guess. But the, I'll give you the short version. The first time we moved, we left Colorado because we couldn't afford to live here. And Mike's parents were not being real. Um, well, let's just say we need to leave. And then we moved to Texas. And Mike was going to look for a job there, and he looked, and I got really, really sick from the heat and humidity, and I said, nope, sorry, and he's like, yeah, I don't think so. So we left Texas, and we moved to Idaho because it was cheaper, but still like Colorado. And because we had never been there, and somebody recommended it to yes. us. Yes, and we really liked Idaho, so then um, Mike lost his job three times, 
in Idaho while commuting back and forth 100 miles. And finally, the last time with two kids, it was 70 miles for us to get groceries. We were like, you know what? We have two kids now. This is too hard. And at the same time, my brother had a root canal and was paralyzed after he had just taken down every wall in his house to remodel his house. So then we went back to Kansas. Wait, I missed that. We were leaving Idaho because of the job situation, right? And because we were too far from civilization for Ellie. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, you just keep watching this. Let me stay on, I was on a roll. Sorry. <laughs> so we moved to Manhattan, Kansas to be closer to my brother and help him get his house put back together, back together since he couldn't use his arms. And then we got a really bad house because we rented it over the phone and it was nasty. It was the epitome of nastiness. If we were who we are now, we, we would have called and said, uh-uh. Yeah. Not, send us our money back. We're not yeah. moving in here. But at the time, we were tired. We had two kids and we didn't know that we could have just taken the guy to court and we should have. So anyway, we lived there six months. Then we moved to another small town. The house was just as bad. Then we decided to go ahead and just move back to Wichita. Mike got a job there. We were only going to be there a couple of years. And we ended up there 11 years. And then we moved from Wichita. We moved three times in Wichita trying to improve our housing situation. And then we moved from Wichita to here. So that's the short story. And what happened with the move from Wichita to here was I told Mike we weren't going to ever move. And I told Mike, wait, housing prices are down in Colorado. Let's move. And he's like, okay. Well, I thought I thought we were moving. Well, I had come out here for a documentary, and I was thinking I really miss Colorado. And So then, um, what is my mother saying about me? Well, so I'll have to so tell you. Then, at the same time, we thought maybe we should move. Our brother-in-law got terminal cancer, and we knew that we would have to come. We They had no, Mike's parents wouldn't be able to help him or anything, so we knew that we would have to come back and help with that. And we knew also that we would probably need to have custody of our niece. So we moved back, and this is where we've been for six years, and now it's time to move again. Well, I am and, well, it's funny because we kind of feel like God leads us at times on, like we have a mission here and now we have mm-hmm. a mission there. And when one mission sort of seems to be coming to a close, then we think, okay, what's going on now? And, and we found... I don't found, think we have regret moving any of those places. No, you? no, I think they were all for a yeah, purpose. I think all they were for a purpose. But the other thing is that now mm-hmm. it, it just feels like we're done here. <laughs> and... We, we do have a few friends, not a lot, um, and the kids are here, but for the most part, there's not much that we're particularly attached to, and the kids, most of them seem to say they would move if we moved, because Well, it's really funny, like because we have a really good church, and we have friends, but we really don't feel connected here. It's a strange feeling. It Usually doesn't feel like home. Usually when that happens, it feels like what? we're going to be led somewhere else sometime soon so so i don't know uh you're, you're asking about your mom Jeannie said uh go to see go to michigan to see leaves but don't buy a house your mom does not want to live in michigan she's so cute and then joanne said uh-oh she called you tara jean well what did my mother say she probably said i don't want to live in michigan tara oh, jean no not michigan <laughs> uh we're going we would drive to pennsylvania for me to look at the leaves is what penny would and i would do oh see but i don't know that's what i was thinking yeah. And go to this one. This is a testimony for us. We need this. What? This? Shannon, you we took you guys' advice on if you can't pay for it, get rid of it. And now we sold our house. <laughs> Woo! Yay, that's I am, great. Hold on. You, you forgot? What? I am so happy my husband and I are on the same page to get out of debt. Good job. Yay. Good job, good what? job. Well, and actually, your deal is more impressive than, than what we were thinking, but <laughs> she's not threatening you. It's okay. <laughs> it's the fly. Um, yes, I would miss Jamie if I moved. I would. I don't know. We're not moving anywhere yet. So it'll probably be a while, but. Yeah. Although, Jamie could know. always move. <laughs> yeah, maybe Jamie could move too. Oh, goody, your mom likes Pennsylvania. Love that state too. So. Yeah. 
I don't know. We were just, I don't know why I'm thinking Pennsylvania. Just because I want someplace nice with rolling hills and trees. And something calm and relaxing. Is Pennsylvania calm and relaxing? Well, it seems like most people say that. It's hard to know unless so, we actually go and check it out. I don't know. But anyway. All right, guys. We love you. We will let you go. Please visit us at Living on a Dime. Buy our book, Dining on a Dime, and any of the other 49 books we have. No, we really do have 49 books. What? Um, and 49 books. Yeah, we do. Cool. I counted them. Yay. And um, let's see. What else? Please subscribe. We're doing a giveaway when we hit 50,000. Let me check the score so far once it loads. The score? We oh, the score. We need 700 more 700 subscribers. I can't believe Big can't. Family Homestead beat us to 50,000. I'm sad. You're, well, she's just sad because we were doing it longer than them. I'm so sad. Wow. wow. They just knocked it out of the ballpark. Oh, it's their uh, move. Rose wants to know how long does it take to order if she just ordered a book? Or how long does it take to ship? Uh, up to two weeks, but usually gets there in five to seven days via media mail, USPS. If you don't have it in two weeks, let me know because the post office probably lost it. Or we've had a problem with our ordering system not sending me the emails for the order, too. So, what? <laughs> That's good. I'm waiting for Jamie to say, take the blade away from her. <laughs> All right, guys, we will see you later. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you so much. Bye. It's been great having you. Bye, Facebook. <laughs> it's not letting me click. Okay, bye. Oh, well, Jamie was asking how did the giveaway go on Monday, but we were just past. Sandra thinks we should make the shirts. Bye, YouTube. YouTube. <sighs>